are we on? Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Let's make the phone check. Lights. Lights. Cameras. This is Swanky. This is Lifestyle. This is Culture. Welcome to the social center of everything culture. Culture Daily. And that's a feature there with Stormzy, your best, sorry, the remix. Let's move on on the show. Also, let me say Ramadan Karim to all our Muslim brothers and sisters um, as they begin the period of fasting. Uh, uh, wishing all the best. We can't wait for the, the, the fast to be broken and then the big celebration also comes in with the Salah. Mm-hmm. And that's how we pin down all our friends. Yeah, I think there's a the chicken one. We so. will be visiting a lot of our friends wow. next month. That's true. What? This is how how they were all laughing. This is the chicken one. This is the one that they they yeah. eat chicken. Mm-hmm. So yeah, we'll I'm be waiting. Right, regardless, we are waiting to the end. There's no, light no, no, at the end no, no, of the no. tunnel. So enjoy. Well, anyways, so let's move on. Now it's Tuesday. We're talking health on a big conversation today. Dr. Chris is in the house, and also don't forget, Telecell is here. Like they say, Telecell is here. A uh, fresh new. Um, telecommunication network breathing into our system and for those who are on Vodafone now you've been transferred to Telecell okay and uh, also asking you out there if you're not on Telecell to join Telecell join the big family uh, and have the red flow through you as well and for those asking questions a lot of questions like um, what happens to your wallets and your cash it still remains the same uh, better T-cash. products coming your way yeah it's Tcash now uh, if you're asking more questions like um, what are you going to get you know clearer voice quality and all that yes it's all coming to you in the coming days uh plans will be rolled out and i'm very sure you're going to be seeing the city painted with red wherever you find yourself and watching us already we are clad in red and white the only odd one yes not dr chris no the only odd one in, <laughs> in white stands out alone here uh, but it's all good though so telecell is here and that's the reason why today we are joining in the big celebration across the nation yes telecell is here all right, on that note, ladies and gentlemen, this morning we're talking about reproductive health, not in men, in women. Dr. Chris is here. Doc, good morning. Good morning. Good yes, morning. Yes, 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 yes. It's a very big topic and a very big conversation to have in the next 45 minutes. But let's see how much we can exhaust in there. And I know um, for every woman, reproductive health is of great concern uh, because of course they are built to reproduce unlike us who are just built to inject and um, uh, cause the system to to spark to do to, 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 yes uh, we so in, in a nutshell what exactly uh, uh, let me use Gen Z where caps under repro- reproductive health um, Gen Z where let's see when we, when we talk about reproductive health without using medical jargons and big words let's Put in one perspective, reproduction and then health. Mm-hmm. So a state in which your reproductive system mm-hmm. is in tip top shape. Mm. Mm. What which which organs what Fall falls under uh, reproductive health? So uh, we, you should be asking this question. So we, I can't we'll group them into. I'm don't worry. Now what you're asking is very you know basic. So you start. Don't wow. worry. We'll get it's into it. Into it. Yeah. <laughs> we'll get into it. So as you said, into it. We have yeah. the ones that also into tools. You know, it's another wow. yes. lingo. Into tools. Say the so you are laying the foundation. Yeah. You know, with the Let's basic. Let's get into so the into tools. Build up. <laughs> so then we have the external organs, and then we have the internal organs. So so external organs. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so we have what you see on the outside. And Which one is that? For example, you can see the clitoris, oh. the labia majora, labia mm. minora. You can see the opening of the vagina. Those ones fall outside. Then you go internally. Then they are going through the vaginal canal. They are going up. Then you go to your cervix, the opening of the uterus, which mm-hmm. is your womb. Then your uterus. Mm-hmm. Then you go to your left, right, fallopian tubes. Mm-hmm. Then you go to your ovaries. Okay, Doc, hold it right there. Let's just f- define functions of each. And now this is a science class, ladies and gentlemen. I'm very sure uh, for our students out there who are listening to us this morning, this will be an ideal moment for you to join in the conversation. Ask questions because you will need it in your WASI, you need it in your BEC, <laughs> you will need it by all means. Um, not to sound graphic or anything, but I've always wondered why the complexity when it comes to the female reproductive system started from the outside. I'm um, See, why did they give me the eye like uh, the question I did ask this thing? <laughs> uh, 
management committee make I watch you on this conversation. <laughs> <laughs> I've always wondered, I, I watch you carefully. I've always <laughs> wondered the complexity around um, you know the female um, starting from the outside, like you mentioned, and and why mm. what Libya in Libya, uh, Morocco, Manora, Majora. South Africa, plenty things <laughs> there all before you you know I I I think it's what kind of functions are these playing? Each and every one has its function. So let's start from. I want us to go in and then we come out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> let's start, start from good. in. Mm. Then whilst I, because we are doing with reproductive health, whilst I'm doing that, I'll be mixing um, the menstrual cycle and, okay. and how some of them relate to it and all that. Okay. S and then fertility will come in a yeah. bit. All right. So when we start from, let's start from the ovaries. Okay. Right. Every month, as you know, a woman goes through a cycle where she bleeds. Mm -hmm. Now. During that period, there's a period called ovulation. Okay. Where the ovaries release an egg, the most viable one. So you release the egg, it goes through the fallopian tube, down to your womb or uterus. Then it's supposed to stay there and wait for a sperm during sexual intercourse to come and fertilize it. Mm -hmm. In the absence of fertilization, that egg is going to break down. Mm -hmm. The line of the uh, domitrium is the line of the walls of the mm -hmm. uterus will shed and then you have your menstrual bleed, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Now, as soon as that ends, you're going to enter a period where your period ends. Some is five days, two okay. days, seven days. Everybody, everybody's one is different. Okay. After it ends, two days after, three days after, we call it that window period where we call it the free period. Or well, the safe period. Yes, the That's safe period. Nothing is going on. Gee. So ovulation is going to, the cycle is going to start again. <laughs> Lenny. So the whole cycle of moving <laughs> the ovaries uh, is going to start, a whole process is going to start again. And we're going to enter that phase. Now that's with the ovaries, right? Mm -hmm. Now mm -hmm. the fallopian tubes have, the, their job is to, as a passage. So they have hair like structures in there, mm -hmm. cilia like structures mm -hmm. that move the egg along. Okay. So there's no grease over there to roll. The egg is not rolling along. It it's moves on hair structures that, okay. like a wave like form. Okay. So you move it along. Now, in the sense that you have a implantation over there or blockage in your fallopian tubes, it's going to prevent the egg from moving for fertilization to occur in your uterus, right? Then okay. You have infertility. And, and does it mean that the eggs build up there because it's not moving or does it crash and does it destroy? Does no, it, it stays there. It can implant there and stay there because it can't move. Maybe the fallopian tube, as a tube, is kinked. There's a, there's a blockage. It's so what happens uh, over time when the eggs are just blocked and blocked and blocked and blocked? So then you are going to have a problem where it's going to become cancerous, it's going to cause that side. So you have pain, left flank pain or right flank pain, depending mm -hmm. on where it is. What's that called in medical terms? Oh, let me say good morning to Empress uh, Nita, who's also doing the, the watching now. Shouts going out to you, Nita. we we'll see you. Hi, Nita. <laughs> All right, so in the case where fertilization has occurred at that point, you can have an ectopic pregnancy. No, I mean, when the eggs clamp up, you know, and don't, don't pass, was that is there a medical term for that? Yeah, cereal. Cereal. Cereal help us oh, out. Medical my shock say you make one When eggs my senior my senior colleague. Doc, senior colleague today they listen. When when eggs uh, clog <laughs> in the fallopian tube, <laughs> is there a medical term for it? I don't know. Oh oh so you give us oh, one. Oh, this is a teaching class. No, 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 no. No, in your in your science school. In your science school. Uh abobosis. Really? Wow. Because it's what? Apple bosses. Apple bosses. Apple bosses. <laughs> wow. If anybody's in the comment section, the person knows the answer to that word. Let's trade to them. Yeah. Okay. To, it was about time somebody also help us. Uh. So they should put the answers there in the comment section. <laughs> <laughs> what, what, what do you call it? Apple bosses. <laughs> <laughs> should we use that? <laughs> we'll take it like that. That's a scientific name. That's a biological name. But that's the friendly name. <laughs> <laughs> it's, we'll a friend, it. it's, a, it's, it's a friendly topic. It's, it's derived. derived. <laughs> It's more we'll descriptive. Like, that. uh, like the, Wadon non sabo boy. It doesn't mean she's a vegetable, <laughs> but it just means that <laughs> visual <laughs> represents. Well she's well endowed. So, so Ebubosis, if you went to a Ghanaian and you said, I think I'm suffering oh, Ebubosis, <laughs> that's an idea what you're talking about. <laughs> right. uh, my guy is watching. Ebubosis, you understand? Oh my god. Okay. Okay. Let's go. We'll find that. 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 We now so the so it clocks in there can become can, can become cancerous. <laughs> yeah, because it's supposed to be a passage. So yeah. the best thing that your guy you uh, use an ultrasound. Uh, there's a there's a lab uh, test that we do. We pass a dye. 
from the vagina. Mm -hmm. We pass a dye and then we put it on a we take a contrasting a contrasting some of it. Mm -hmm. It's still picogram, right? Yeah. HSG. Tincha. Yeah, so when you do it, you see the dye mm -hmm. forming like a white. So we we'll see where if the dye doesn't continue, ideally when you push it, it's also fall through. Mm -hmm. That means that there's so it's there's clear. blockage. There's no blockage. But if there's a blockage you that at one point mm -hmm. it stops. Then we will we'll do that. Then we'll go to this your uterus, which is very important. Because when we last time we spoke about contraceptives and basic contraceptives and mm -hmm. abortions and all that, when you have an abortion, mm -hmm. because the the fetus and plants on the walls mm -hmm. of your uterus, which have so much blood vessels mm -hmm. for giving nutrition to the fetus. Mm -hmm. When you do an abortion or a DNC, like a manual abortion, they go in there to remove it. They scrape the walls mm -hmm. of your uterus, which causes scarring. Mm -hmm. In the future, when you want to get pregnant, you realize that you can conceive all right, but the child can't be able to attach to the walls because it's been smoothened. Mm -hmm. So it then falls on your miscarriage. Mm -hmm. So you see, that also covers that part. Then you go down, you are down, you are down to your cervix. Now the cervix is the opening to the uterus. Mm -hmm. So in the drawing of a, a reproductive uh, organ of a woman, mm -hmm. you realize that when we come in down, there's a sort of a kink mm -hmm. comes and then the vagina continues. Mm -hmm. I wish we had an image we could display there, but so to the cervix, somebody said that when I'm uh, I says I'm hitting something, you know. But uh -huh. I mean, uh -huh. it's what the cervix. Okay. <laughs> because it's not supposed to allow anything to continue into your womb. So the cervix <laughs> it sounds like the it's like a the bouncer. <laughs> a bouncer sort of a wall. So it's okay to hit the cervix? No. <laughs> <laughs> no man, you go to a club and the, the bouncer is there. Long day. Will, you mean, hit, will you hit the bouncer? No, no, no. I mean the bouncer is there to hit you, but this bouncer can't move. <laughs> so the bouncer is there to prevent you from being mischievous. So this bouncer can't move. So then ah, right. wait, oh, there's a difference between the hymen and the cervix, right? Yes, there's yes, a difference. Please. So the, before the hymen was seven as a bouncer. The, yeah. the hymen is you, 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 you beat the hymen. The, no, the hymen is the security. It's a security. That's a security you guy. That's a security so guy. You beat him. <laughs> you have to meet the man. The bouncer, yeah. The last killer, which is the cervix. Which is that place? You're not supposed to pass through. Yeah, because uh -huh. those, those who are supposed to pass through are spams. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. And, uh, blood or a child is coming so through. when women say i can feel it in my womb what what what, what, what she's what? trying to say that you are you are you are not you've hit the cervix Two prano yes <laughs> <laughs> so when she's saying she's saying like she's in pain or she's showing discomfort you you please stop. stop yeah don't take it like don't take it this <laughs> you, you are doing something right this is not the time for you to show that yeah you, you, you're then you, then now you're yeah you spot there yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. You are hurting her. I realize that people, when somebody, a woman is doing that, I'm like, oh, like I'm, you know, instead of the person saying, are you okay? So she's you not know, moaning, she's we, actually we continue? Instead of you asking those questions. That's why even with this topic, we're going to talk about consent. Mm -hmm. What could possibly go wrong if that is ignored? Mm -hmm. What 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 is a woman exposed to? Uh, I, I want us to, like... Off head, off head. Let's say, when, let me use this example for you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Let's say you've conceived, you're pregnant, right? Ideally, the service is supposed to hold the child in there. Okay. Prevent the child from falling through. Okay. Because either way, it's just a passage. Yeah. Right. Right. There should be a way where stay there. It's just hold on until, until we are ready. Until yes. Due then we, time. Then we, then, we, then, we, then yeah. that's when we talk about dilation. How much dilation? You no, know, then it's yeah. opening yeah. for yeah. the child now yeah. to come out. Yeah. Now, okay. You keep doing that. You are rotating the walls of the cervix. You are wow. weakening it. So, in the chance that the chance that the person is pregnant, you realize that even take a, within four months it, to start descending. So those so we'll go in there, mm -hmm. and we have to tie it off. Oh, mm -hmm. yeah, we have to tie, like so manually do a suture and close it off. So those who use sex right. toys with you know longer inches, right? They have a risk of that. Wow. Okay. Wow. Uh, what's the duration? How? What would you advise the duration is? You know, for using the sex toys that Olili speaks on, because then and then is there like a preferable way? that it should be used do you understand because now we say that the men can compete with these some men can compete with the sex good toys some yes some men can compete with the sex so toys the way because, because some women want a certain length or a certain size yes, and all that. Come on, now, if these sex toys are going a long way to you know harm <laughs> us did you, you use know? that on purpose <laughs> A long way. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you know, like, yeah. If these sexes are going along, yeah, if, if it was really like the way you say uh, it, to harm us, how 
often would you say or for you know what duration maybe you use it after a while and then you stop or you know just so that you know that your vaginal health is at the optimum so in order in order for us to also talk about that then we need to talk about as you say the size to everybody on his own mm-hmm. you said to every woman, every woman, woman if we interview we do a survey right now we ask women what do you want like which was your side everybody has mm-hmm. preferences yeah, yeah. so and that's and anatomically the vaginas are not the same no one vagina is the same mm-hmm. some smaller some bigger some wider ah, some fleshy i just like to i like to <laughs> <laughs> you will choke you will choke i said how can a man eat um because i was going to look up it i'll see it's okay <laughs> it's okay right? Chris. i just wanted to 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 clarify for us oh he didn't he didn't answer yeah, yeah, how i want often? him to answer based on the clarified question okay there's a misconception that if a man pleases himself or uses a toy it's masturbation right but when women talk about sex toys we don't necessarily categorize it in the category of masturbation, masturbation. so the uh, question she's asking about how often and how much and blah blah in blah, itself it's a subject to, to yeah the person's addiction, addiction to self-pleasuring yes. mm-hmm, mm-hmm. You understand? So it's yeah, not okay. a good thing that you say, oh, take uh, three uh, times daily or, uh, yeah, or, or six minutes before bed. There's nothing <laughs> because the person might have a masturbation problem mm-hmm. or an infomania problem mm-hmm. that drives them towards the desire Love for dog. that self pleasure. Okay. Yeah. But that by extension is also affecting the that's person's what I'm saying, it's an addiction. Health. So that's you, right. you so cannot that's put that's a routine to addiction. That's, 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 that's the thing right. with addiction. You've gone beyond the threshold. Yeah. People it's have these control, rules and bullets and things in their bag. You know this. <laughs> hey, the okay. moment I know what. Oh, you know what I mean by you know it. Not that. <laughs> not that. Not that you. Not that you indulge know yourself. Or I don't know. I don't know. Fact, I'm, come on, let's I have no let's idea. Have the People have yeah, these things in their bag. Eh? Yeah, yeah, so the moment you are taking, you know what? You're a minor. I mean, the moment you are taking a fake penis out of your living room into public in your handbag, you know, you have a problem. Yeah. It's no longer about how many times should I use it. If you are in public bathroom at 1 p.m. <laughs> Problem <laughs> day. Uh-huh. Okay. Okay. So, doc, please. Okay, so f- factual settings. Let's go back to the, you know, the, the chain of command. Mm. Okay, so where were we? We're, we're done. Sh- I, yeah, I, have you answered you your choose. question? Yeah, yeah. You, you mentioned the U-Church. So, f- to end yours, let me just add that whoever is doing it and it's an addiction, you need to curb it. Mm. Find ways to curb it. And if you are using it for intermittently, you have control, right? Then you should have hygiene for it. In the same way you advise a man to wash his genitals, mm-hmm. you should also wash. Wash what about your you're tools. Yes. Your wash toys. them and sanitize them. Tools. <laughs> it's tools, right? Yeah. It depends on who you're using it. All right. So, so uh, we're talking cervix, yeah. actually, and uh, it being like a bouncer before he mentioned the hymen yeah. conversation, you know, and it's functioning in the, in the reproductive health. Okay. Or then, in reproduction. Then, so from the cervix, then we are coming to the vaginal canal. So, the cervix purpose, again. <laughs> the cervix purpose is supposed to uh, serve as a barrier. Okay. So it's the transition point between the s- the uterus and the vagina. Okay, mm. that's the midpoint, like a the border. And that's where it holds. Uh, it prevents. Um, so it, it as, as it prevents things from going up, germs from going up. It serves as a barrier. Prevents. Oh, so it, when you it take does a, that. Prevents like yeah, bacteria. Yeah. And, yeah. So and when stuff. you that's what the cervix does actually. Yeah. So okay. when you uh, during your process of mucus formation, it forms at the cervix. That's preventing sperm from going up. Because mm-hmm. there's no way fertilization can happen in the vagina. Fertilization can only happen. That's the safe period. That's the safe period. So the safe no, period. Safe place. Period. period. No, it says fertilization During can happen in the vagina. So it's a safe place. It's a safe place. It's a safe yes, place but it's also a safe the period. The cervix creates the mucous membrane that traps the seam, the sperm in the semen, failing to go up into uh, the womb. Uh, oh, right. That's uh, what you're saying. See what you did science in school, eh? On animals, I agree. Yes, uh, that's okay. the same thing. Okay. Yeah, so okay. in, when we last mm-hmm. time we spoke about medical mm-hmm. contraception, I mentioned that some of these medications form some of these barriers. Mm. So that's where they form it, mm. preventing anything from going up. Mm. So in reproductive help, when you're looking at it, there are instances where you can see, we can tell you that you can check the mucus, how sticky it is, the thickness, and everything. Can no, tell you whether so you're fertile. So or not. let me ask a question. Is um, sorry, but you know sometimes during intimacy there might be that. Um, 
um, discharge. Yes, is that the mucus? No, it's not. Oh, okay, all oh, right, sure. That's lubrication. The body's natural way somebody of preventing. Somebody told me I haven't seen it before, but somebody's telling me. Okay, so why are you explaining? So when you get no, to they, they told me for my ears inside. Okay. Ah, okay. So when you, when you, when you get to the vaginal canal, that's usually where penetration penetrative sex is supposed to happen. Okay. Mm. That distance from the opening of your vagina to the to the service point. <laughs> but some people can go. <laughs> <laughs> I want to go past it. But doc, you did mention something right now when you were talking about the thickness of the fluid in accessing um whether you are um fertile or not. So can you also run us through how thick it should be, how you know thin it should when be. You watch this, when you watch that. this video back and you see yourself asking the question while you are doing this, <laughs> you're going to, you going to regret. <laughs> no, because that's what he did. So uh, he but I'm saying that the whole time you're asking the question, so doc, what is the thickness? <laughs> Say, okay. oh, okay. Is the, this uh, is uh, intent. Oh, I should do this. Do you so if you're asking a question about maybe the hard disk, how do you think? Let me sorry. Let me. Hey, you put your hand. Don't mind Siri. Don't forget. Don't mind what you do. So please ask. So don't mind Siri. Don't mind Siri. Ask a question. How thick or thin should the fluid be? Shall I remove your hand? Because I lock that noise, man. Only I get my own password. You see how I lock up? How thick or thin should be? to know that you know you are um, fertile or not. Um. When we, let's be careful with this topic. Okay. When it comes to our f- vaginal fluid, mm-hmm. we need to be very, very sensitive and careful about what we are talking about. Mm-hmm. Because Subject. the color, the texture, mm-hmm. the smell mm. can determine something else. Whether you're sick or yes. you're healthy mm. or yeah. So what causes that smell? Is it from the what same cervix, mucus, like like mucus like place? Hmm? pH balance. The pH also. The pH balance also. But then we can't check it without... Mm, medical test. So, okay. so, 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 so that's that, that order um, conversation. Is so it the, that, uh, sorry, the mucus thing or? No, no, I'm coming to that. Okay, so the right. type of, the kind of smell you are smelling also determines what is wrong. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So if it is like a call it, call it, call call fishy call it, smell, uh-huh. different thing. Is yellowish, creamish? Mm. Different brown. thing. Mm. Mm. If it's dark brown, it could be blood. Okay. Old blood. Mm. It may Pe- stay for too long and it's coming out. Purple? There's no purple. <laughs> well, people are asking colors. Uh, he just mentioned different colors. I'm also asking about purple. White, babe. Rainbow. <laughs> then we have the... <laughs> so, you get where I'm going. Why? Yeah, uh, yeah, it's yeah. a very... It's dicey. It's a dicey topic to talk about because somebody might mistake it and say, okay, yeah, it means I'm, I'm, I'm fertile. But know? does the same color fluid in every woman mean the same thing? You know? Yes. Maybe, okay. Yes. It's, it run, when it comes to that, we don't... So why is there some women, they don't, they don't know if it's smelly? It's like it hasn't got to a know? point where Charlie, it's strong enough. You are experienced. Oh, no, no, no. Just no, no. have some water. For I'm someone who ampl- says he some walks water. when I'm, amp- I'm amplifying what the they talk about here. on the internet. You know, know, he's reading it on the internet. Just, just, just vibes and stuff like uh, that. They talk about these things, you know. Okay. Y'all need to watch just vibes, man. This is the kind of conversation they have. I know, right? the, I know. They share some of these things. He said the sex toy is 2,500 cities. And the huh? lady who asked, the, lady asked the, the Instagram handle, how much is Kwame? How much is Kwame? <laughs> that's I mean, no, no, so back to the yeah, discussion. So though. I mean, <laughs> so the reason I'm asking is because um, there there have been a number of um, conversations about you know the vagina or the on the internet, and most of the time it seems as though the women do not know no, that know. that you know that is a problem. It's like someone who has a mouth although and can't tell. Or doesn't know they have a mouth auto. Is it is it the same thing, or it has to get to a particular point where the stench is? No, it doesn't have to be. There's a natural smell that comes from a woman. Yeah. Because right. the the body in this state, the vagina itself has a natural cleaning mechanism. Mm-hmm. Right. <coughs> we'll it get into the yeah, you, you, those products are useful yes. for the washing and things. But yeah, let's, yeah. yeah. So when it comes to that, as you said, you should know. Mm. That's where we talk about self-examination. Mm. In the privacy of your own washroom or your room, you should be able to check yourself. Mm-hmm. Right. Check yourself. If you go and play football and you come back, you can tell you're not smelling the way you should That's naturally. True. You go to the gym. So yes. Yeah. You go to the gym or you work out. Even you go to town, to the market and come back. Even sometimes you're in a hurry to get into the shop because yeah, you can tell that. Yeah. Sticky, icky. Yes. That same goes with everyone. For some reason, everybody has a natural default setting of smell. Mm-hmm. Mask. The ma- yeah, mm-hmm. it's a mask. Yeah. Everybody has it. 
it depends on how you started grooming yours or how yeah. your parents manage yours yeah. from the beginning. Yeah. Right? Use lemon. Yes. When it gets offensive, it means it's going beyond what is acceptable. So that mm-hmm. means it's a problem of hygiene. It's hygiene. Yeah. It's hygiene, whatever you are eating, whatever you're putting down there, grooming. Your underwear. Are you changing your 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 menstrual pad? How many times are you changing it in a day? Yeah. There are some people don't even know that they need to change it three times a day. Mm. Some don't know. And then you come to cost. So that's where the cost you see the the cost thing also brings us yeah, back to yeah. health. So you can talk about vagina health. You are, it's a broad topic. Yeah. Um, um, Dr. Chris, you see, with the topic of vaginal health, right, some people want so badly to have their vaginas smell like flowers and roses, ah. which, shouldn't, which should not be the case, well, no, right? Well, um, because by extension, it will affect you, you know, In some the long way, run, somehow, yes. if yeah. you keep using all of these products, Douching. you know, for... Th- Yes, I'll just come into douching. So if you can please tell us what the benefits or the disadvantages, benefits and disadvantages of these things are. Are there any benefits at all, if any, you know, of douching, of using all of these products just to make sure that you are smelling a certain way? Okay. Um, so let's do the benefits. Yes. And None. Then no, okay, then the disadvantage. Unless you like to give it a shot. The red dog say, let's do benefit. That's all. You're about to go down. No, you know? no, I knew there no. the, the, the were. No, no, if, if, if I'm going to give you one benefit, one, for that sh- short interval smell, mm. you're yeah. going to have that short yeah, yeah, interval. Uh, that's like, it. It's like you spray an air freshener in this place. So people are actually yeah. coming it, us. It, that, it's, it's, nice for, it's nice, but it's not going to stay. So it's a broad day's come. That's what you're saying. Yeah. And the worst thing about this thing is that this. the yes. worst thing about mm-hmm. these things is that you, people are not even using one type. Mm. So Different you types. Have, and we don't know what's in it. But the composition wait. of it we don't know. Look, I've heard about this douching thing. So how do they do it? Do you want to take it? Please do it. No, no, no. But how would I don't do? I don't do. We don't so say that you no, do. We just want to know you what know, they I mean, do. You know the industry, know, know the know market. So, uh, okay. Oh, I what what is your market. mantle? If you don't, you don't speak up. No, I honestly don't know. If it gets exposed, it won't talk. No, I honestly don't know how douching works. So I'm I'm not going to okay. say I mean, dog, what is okay. how it medically so how does it work? Yeah. Okay. Lenny's um, line. lying. <laughs> she's capping. She's capping. How am I capping? No, no, Lenny. Lenny's I not don't believe you that you're Don't you know Lenny's a politician? Ah, I'm even if he's Lenny's politician. So she's politically correct. I don't know. No, we won't check it online. Deny. I got another deny or confirm. Wait. So Lenny can't tell me that. Look, even us guys in here know everything about about how to handle a male a male um this thing. You know our manhood. So you cannot tell me don't know how douching is done. You can't tell me that. I want to hear from a lady. <laughs> I, I honestly don't know. Doc, please. <laughs> what? Do you as the animal telling us all how duching works. Okay. What's um, how duching works? For those watching and listening, mm-hmm. I'll give you a simple example. Something you already do. When you brush your teeth, right. you wash your mouth, right? Mm-hmm. And then you gargle. Yeah. And then you spit it out. Yeah. And you do it with mouthwash or whatever it is. Dog, even that one will come to that because I'm told that not we don't have to be done. be done. Yeah, I heard about that one. Right so. now, they are, I just, it's, 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 it's plenty. It's, it's over your mind. I'm telling no, you. So, no, for real. So, when I, when I scrub, when I, I brush I, my when teeth, I, I leave the, light, the fluoride yeah, needs the to light, be in light, there, blah, 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 you know. I mean, I spill out so the fresh ones, the, the, the major ones, you know, the thick one there for yeah. bottom. But no, after a while, I actually rinse now. I rinse, yeah, but I don't do it. brush. So, but we'll come to two. We'll come, come to that. We'll come to that. We'll come that, to that. Yeah. Later, this month, no, not later. We we plan on dealing with others. Right, right. right. Mm. Like, no, so you, it's not. So today. let's it's let's not do this. Not today. Let's yeah. do yeah. Yeah, Doc, yeah, I'm so sorry, but then you need to mention this since we mentioned uh, talking about brushing. I'm very sorry, oh, but we have to Plug ship it. this in Plug real quickly as Pepsi well. Um, hey, I said more fire. More fire. More fire. Do you have a new one? Do you have a new one in market? Um, yeah. So every time we eat food and sugars, yes, trapped in between our teeth. I said, and I want to be right like the ground. Yeah, leading to tooth decay and gum disease, and in some cases, foul breath. Oh, Charlie. Uh, brushing your teeth every morning and night with Personal Cavity Fighter gives your teeth the protection they need and leaving you with 10 times stronger teeth. And uh, the uh, Personal Cavity Fighter is fortified with pro fluoride oh, pro, pro and micro calcium in, in, oh, ingredient. <laughs> <laughs> pro fluoride. I bet, see, I'm fast with that. You know, it, it seals the tiny and invisible holes in your teeth, okay? It prevents cavities and keeps your teeth and sh- mouth, um, you know, strong, teeth strong and your mouth very 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 healthy so please go ahead and use pepsodent cavity fighter it comes in 175 kg that's a big family pack and 120 a jaqua pack and 65 and 12 uh gram sachet as well you can also get what you can afford at any time you want always remember to brush your teeth in the morning and the evening before you sleep 
It is recommended by the Ghana Dental Association. If you want more information, call the dentist. Toll free number is 0800 161000. So 0800 161000. You can get Pepsodent at any shop near you. Pepsodent, um, every smile matters. Doc, Yankoho, mm-hmm. douching. Fawum. When we talk about douching, it's basically mm-hmm. washing of the vagina with a fluid. Okay. Conservatively. Okay. Right. Now, anything else besides water is douching. Anything else besides, besides water. water? Because the vagina has a pH. Okay. A normal pH that is supposed to maintain. Okay. Because the vagina itself has certain microorganisms there that maintain that pH. Okay. Okay. So, when I was having a conversation with someone, I keep telling people that. That's why it's very dangerous for you to be transferring cells up and down. Mm. From the mouth to the vagina, from the vagina to somewhere else. So, and the bone skin, oh. yes. So you are re, you are transferring organisms from where they are not, so they are naturally supposed to be to where they are not supposed to be. Mm. Wow. So, Doc, are you saying that Anubomsky, a.k.a. oral sex, is a non-starter? Clean before you go there. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So, when you do that, you have to go and brush your teeth before you continue or whatever. wash your mouth or whatever you want to oh, do. Okay. Oh, I said before and after. Yes. Mm. Okay. That's why, right. so that's why people know it. They have wet wipes by their bed. Ah. Wow. They have sanitary wet wipes. Mm. It's there. So, they clean from one point they mm. clean before they move to the next okay. mm. yes. so so if you do that the person doesn't need to wash their mouth <laughs> right okay 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 yeah Yo. I get it instead of one get person it. getting up and the whole process is <laughs> yeah. it shortens the yeah uh, uh, it lengthens it rather Zero. yeah it lengthens it by shortens by it can shorten the process in the sense that <laughs> you get up and go and wash your mouth the person is done I'm not at any right. risk right Canilingus, I'm not at any risk oh, men are at risk you oh. always have risk. What we hear is it true? Oh, but like, he didn't finish with the douching. Yeah. So the, with the douching, oh, we'll get there, we'll get you there. you change the pH of the I place. I already say it's bad. And when you change the pH of the place, it's going to allow other microorganisms to infiltrate the place who are not supposed to be there. Mm. So it's like you getting a piece of land, and then you have corn growing on it, mm. and then you decide to clear the whole land. Mm-hmm. Something else, weeds will grow. Plants that are not supposed to be there, they are not yeah, helpful yeah. for you. Will start growing on it. Yeah. So that's what basically what you're doing. So you're saying. So your smell is changing. There's bacteria. Bacteria infection is going to increase. Mm-hmm. Because now, oh, wow, the place is yeah, conducive. Yeah, yeah. For us to be there. So though you feel um, I'm dealing with a smell or a discharge or whatever it is, you are in then making things worse. So, so why don't you do that? Because if you look back, the whole thing is nobody was doing douching. Should a guy tell a girl when there's... Only was asking that question. The order? Yeah, should you tell her or if it hits on her... Ego. 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 Yeah. Constructive. Constructive. If you love, Constructive. Her, if you love her, tell her. Constructively. Mm. Yeah. She might not accept it then, but it's she good coming from you. I mean, she'll it appreciate it in the long It wouldn't be as bad as telling someone about his size, though. Uh, no, no, it's just like for the, for Bruh, the guys women as Women can well. tell the guy he's fat, he's too short, he's a manhood is too small, la la la. It's all ha 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 ha. Mm-hmm. Why are we having this conversation? Mm-hmm. Tell, tell us about healthy things, Leslie. <laughs> <laughs> Why? <laughs> let's have, let's run a farewell. Do you want to say something? It cannot be. be it's not. It cannot be cool to laugh at a man's manhood and then uh, touch the touch screen. <laughs> that, that I was one, just going to you say. You are just it's going the to same say it. I'll not allow you to. Once he, I'm alive, the no, if he we'll smells, the skills. no. If he smells, you should be able I'm to tell that the him. I'm saying that girl will tell you, you know? right there yeah. without so consideration of your of ego. anything. Exactly. The first thing you hear. Mm, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Without so consideration, you're asking, ways. is it okay to tell the lady? Is I, I, we I have a conversation in the situation. I think, to be, fair, I think to be fair, the reason why I feel like guys don't get the pass is because we we don't consider their emotions. We don't consider who's emotion. The yeah. the lady's emotions. Like we are wow. very raw. Like who? I don't know how to explain. Like we are no filter. Like yeah. Like you know when a lady is telling you, she will find a way to say it. Huh. Unless of course she doesn't have some. No, yeah, but yeah, if you also can't say that, it, if you also can't say it, there are a lot of other things you can do. No, guys, like, we don't have that. We buy, don't have that orientation. Yeah, no, kinda, like kinda, buy uh, stuff, you know, that will help her. And like that what? has to do with like, like general body. No, like what? I was about to ask you a question. Like not, what? Not for you know the, the down douching. there where we are saying you shouldn't pull like, like a lot of other things about that upper, that upper body. like generally oh, okay, if somebody okay, okay. is you know giving off a certain body okay, so also, but you, but you should like if you are that, that means somebody the buys guys, guys, the person tried to say something guys. no or the best thing you can do for her is take her to let me, let me, you know no, a guy let me, let me let me let me share my perspective right if it's 
something that people have to experience in a public uninitiated space like you and i in an office and your body odor is a problem or you and i have to interact and your breath is a problem that is something that might be thin ice that you have to be careful on how to talk about but if you and i have decided to be intimate and we've gone to hide in a room somewhere blah blah and we are naked and we're about to do something and something is wrong i forgot to tell you we, we are naked sister so charlie baby brother come on baby eh? It's not like we're in the office and you said hello and I said, mm. <laughs> that one is different, right? I've embarrassed you. It's uninitiated. I need to find a, a calm way yeah. to go about to, it. Yeah. To come about mm, yeah. it. But we go rent place. They hide for some corner. They can't do something to that one too. I still need to kneel down and use grammar. So at that, at that time, your senses are work. Boss, how did you know the place they toss? It's not nakedness. <laughs> no, you go already cross there. You go already cross there. You cross the barrier. The barrier <laughs> of this. If you cannot no, tell the person God. the truth no, so, at that time, so what are you doing what, there? What you are telling us is, no matter how high you are in the in the in the in the, in the clouds, when you get Boss, there and the thing hits you, the question reason, that I want to ask you and first. all the men is that. In that situation, mm -hmm. would you like to complain or would you like to hold your ask and, you. and deliver? <laughs> <That's> <laughs> right. ask you, you, you go like complain <laughs> or you go, Bosu, ah. Bosu, this but girl know they pick your call. This, this yeah. girl know they pick your call for <laughs> six weeks. Last, last game set. You go like hold your breath <laughs> and be your dog. Oh, now you want to introduce <laughs> Tanji. I, I, because, bro, <laughs> I need to go back to my own <laughs> Because bro, ah, bro, we, I, we grew up. Your mom will pass out. Yeah, we grew up. We grew up hearing yeah. this. Um, we grew up hearing this local term. Bonde. Bonde. Dog, we know your. Dog, do you know Bonde? No. Oh, you know Bonde. Oh, you are not asking the critical. No, no. Do you know Bonde? What be Bonde? Oh, you don't know what Bonde. Bonde. Ah. Unfortunately, but I'm just saying that. At that point in time, when you are at that place, boss, you are talking about men who like the light soup when the goat is smelling inside. Yes. What are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. It's like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, but on a, more, on a more serious note, I think I think it's a conversation that needs to be had. I don't know if there should, there's supposed to be a way around it, but nobody ever feels comfortable when even if your your sister or your brother tells you that oh you're not smelling. How did you know your sister? <sighs> No, I'm just saying, like, no, but, like no, in some general. People you can't, <laughs> like, no, for some people, you can't. He's having a migraine. No, I'm not, no, I'm, no, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm not talking about the vaginas. I'm talking about normal, like normal sense. Ah, like, uh, the topic to of sexual female reproduction. No, no, no. Cool down. Cool down. Cool down. I'm just saying, in this topic like, that we're having today, I didn't expect anybody to say sister. Cool down, cool down. Hold I'm on. Saying, I'm but saying for that some people, even with friends, even with friends that you are very comfortable with, you sleep in your house, you sleep in their house. A female friend. That yes. you are comfortable with, and oh. you know that she has but, the order. But all he's saying is, for some people, you don't have to be naked to, to smell it. To smell right? it. That's what I'm That's saying. That's all he's saying. If you are not, if listen, mm -hmm. listen, listen. Right. Because boy, you know, even with guys, if you don't work there, it's not your business. Even with guys, they, I, I mean, I'm going to say there are guys who don't change their boxes one week. <laughs> One week they wear one Box, boxer. Boxers don't come with instruction. No, but they are guys who don't wear the boxers. They also wear courses like the smell and stuff. That's what I'm saying. Even with guys, even with guys, Charlie. Bema, bema, tu mbeja wote wote tuse Charlie. No move, tu, no move, no move, no tu. It's not from the upper body. It's from the down there. Yeah. You understand? I don't need you. Don't need to get. That's what I said. That's what I said. That if it is in a public setting with an uninitiated situation the mm -hmm. person has come to stand by you and there's tossment mm -hmm. that's your colleague that's whatever mm -hmm. you need to be tactical have you told your colleague ever in your career your working career i told the woman who said that my stomach is big that she's competing with me and so she doesn't talk to me me i don't forgive you <laughs> like, like mm. hey ah but now you can see me and tell me that hey now if you know i can say i'm so Charlie, I'll compete with you. <laughs> and I'll get the face all make like you think. And the girl has never spoken to you. <laughs> you the mother said, block me. Why, what is good for the goose? The goose is good for, for the gander. Why, well, who told you that I'm a punching bag? They're for Jenny. Me, I don't know if you're going to say me. Swine. They're for swap. They're for swap. They're for swap. They're not happy. No filter. No filter. All right, so I'll answer this. 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 i a musky smell or mild, mm -hmm. it's normal, it's okay. Okay. It's okay. Mild, musky smell. Some women okay. even like that. Yeah, if you're having it smelling metallic, you have this metallic smell, mm -hmm. it's because you just finished your cycle. Your menstruation right, can't do that. Right, right. Um, if you have it smelling sour, mm. sour, like lemon ish, mm -hmm. um, that's pH balance, it's off. Your pH balance is off. The pH of this is getting. As acidic. Acidic. Oh. Yes. Is that the a cause to panic? Or? Yeah, we can correct that. We can correct that. We can correct that. Yeah. It's easy. 
Um, if it's fishy smelling, that's bacteria vaginosis. Problem D. Mm. As you need to get gyne on, on that. Is that if the problem? So can I ask? Stuff? Yeah, that's the line. That, that, can I ask that a line. question? Bacteria vaginosis, um, the UTIs, candiasis. Mm. You see the way you... If it's foul or strong smelling, as you said, like, this is bad. So you, see the, you see the way you're listing it mm. on, right? Yeah. Do they feel like, is it like a transitional phase? It starts from one point to the other, to the other, to it gets to that bad point. Or some people, they just go straight. No, it's gradual. It's you, gradual. You should, so that means that's why you should be checking should yourself. Be checking. Okay, uh huh. That's why you see, I keep telling people that if I, let me ask you a personal question. Mm, learning. Right, learning. Uh, mm-hmm. Have you ever taken a mirror, sat down in your room, mm. the privacy of your room, and examined yourself, your vagina, how it looks like in its natural state? Who was I telling the last time about shaving? It was you. That we we're talking mm. about shaving, and I was telling another girl how Actually, she can do it. So you already know oh. the answer to that. I'm not, I'm, 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 you have to say it. For you know the answer to that. No, but question, as a woman, you know, you no, no, no. As a shapes. woman, you should know. You should be able. No, but that's to what the check. question you Yes, take a mirror and look no, down there because you. Lenny, you see, you are of interest to us because you work with us. Please, we are all let here guided. We all want to guide and make sure that you are fine because see, we love you. So all we are saying is that. Doc says that do Wait, you no you say a new shape <laughs> and Doctor I, mean, I want to go and yeah, no but we're, we've had the conversation yeah, but I mean we, with so, so another lady please, where please I said yes, say yes, so where I, I said that yes you should be able to take a mirror and look at your vagina if you don't want to look at your own vagina who do you want to look at it okay we you understand know, that advice so you should be able we to. understand that advice I'm not that advising you, I'm just you saying you yeah you should be answering the question and I've answered no you put your number on speaker what do you ask no but I've Yes. Yeah, she says uh-huh. she has. Yeah, yes. Okay, so I, the I second question. I around South Africa, <laughs> Ethiopia, Madagascar, <laughs> now you're back. I'm so, uh, so uh, Jay, what, what I wanted to say in relation to why I was asking that is, if you know the normal state of something, when the second when day you check off, and there's a change know. or there's off, you will know yeah. that something's off. And then you can have it taken care of. Because we have so many people coming to hospital with cases where we felt if you were checking this, it wouldn't get you here. Seen it mm. You see a rash. It wasn't there before. Have a check. check yeah. I, I, I want to ask, from a medical standpoint and interacting with so many... Hey, sorry. From a medical standpoint <laughs> and interacting with so many individuals and, I mean, Guyanese, etc. Is there a societal problem on how women are raised with respect to sexuality and knowledge of self-care? Because I, nobody has taught, I don't know about guys, apart from uh, your armpit yeah. and body odor. Yeah. We are not taught anything about anything. Yes. We kind of just learn it and talk to each other and uncles and you understand. But it's like women always need to be told these things. For some reason, there's always a conference and a conversation and a big show about, about like this. And like, shop. I, excuse me to say, like, is your vagina? Why am I on a show? Talking about <laughs> here's, my, here's my first question. Do, 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 do you get what I'm saying? Like the complexity it, it, of the is society. Is it that it's a complex issue, or does society not allow that in the growth process from puberty to womanhood that the women really are educated enough, enough about, about yeah. it that by the time you're 22, 25, mm-hmm. you know, there should be none of these questions. Like, they know too much about makeup than their own vaginas. Hey, Very not good. everybody, not oh, everybody, not oh, everybody. Oh, fully. Very good. There, there, there you no, go. Go and sit down. There you go. Go and sit Chester, down. On him come to on him go and sit down. <laughs> go and sit down. Foundation. 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 Pat has to wear. Go and sit down. Go and sit down. <laughs> sit down. Hey, listen. Not the whole show we did, uh, the whole show we did do since we started this program. <laughs> Fully, uh, this is the best punchline. That Foley, I'll say they not let me. He said that they know more about makeup. <laughs> I think that is a societal. Hey, John. John. No. Yeah. No, John. It's a societal thing. And also the comfort. No, the and also the comfort to be able to talk um, about it. Talk about when it. And even question. mention when the word vagina. Do you want opinions, to talk about like it to, to me? Like another body type. Talk to your sisters, your women. Let me change. It's societal. It's societal. It's right. Yes. When boys go, when when we go to SS, right? As a boy, you learn. What is it? What is normal yeah. about your genitalia, yeah. your body odor? We even your learn grooming. it from no, when not school. Gen- I'm not saying that they teach us so. Okay. I'm saying we for the dumb then you go know how to stop your tossing. 
Yeah. Because boys will call you out That's on it. You understand? That's because we, yeah, yeah, yeah. in the boy in the uh, male fraternity, mm -hmm. yes, maybe the time you did JSS, they, they shout at you for half yeah, Gary, 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 ha, ha, ha. Yeah. But the time you reach Legon, if you still the toss, something, something they worry yeah. you. That's what because what it says, the way they go deal with you, no. By the time you reach level hundred, body care and self mm -hmm. maintenance is primal. <laughs> you no, understand? So I'm saying that it's there. I'm just saying that, but we have instances where they are they are organizing programs conferences, all sorts of things to talk about these things, right? Like, I was Which going to do a campaign. Which should be basic... Uh, uh, you mentioned that what do you need I mentioned that. That's exactly my I point. That why do you need to do a, a campaign? Sent campaign. I, that, I told that's what yeah. I was saying that, Lenny. A couple of weeks ago. Why, why would... That, if, if, if between puberty and adulthood, or younger to adulthood, mm -hmm. right, women and whatever, blah, 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 this the same way we guys went through. Have you ever seen a male... This thing you want to do. Have you ever had anybody organize but this men's will be for health? Both men and man manhood, women jack up. Anyway. Man manhood, yes. Jack up. Sure. You jack up 2024. <laughs> this will be for last time you saw something. When was the last time you saw something on TV about yeah, I get you. Yeah, about rise to the occasion. women's health, like <laughs> reproductive care? The product, like, you know those things? They used to be always so tragic. Yeah. yeah. When was the last time you saw any of those things? It used to be what? It's been no they used to be like, Part adverts on TV, yeah. yeah, and sort of they'll show it and the liquid is pouring on it, yeah, and yeah. Shows yeah. Or the girl is playing, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Do you know why? When was the last time you saw any of Do you know things? why? Because of cancel culture and woke culture. So those commercials, right, had a sexist approach, as in they would show a woman playing football mm. uh, to show the durability of the part, or they'll show a woman doing something vigorous. You can still do all those things whilst yes, in your side. When we got to the world, when we got to the world of wokeness, and this is sexist, and this is gender bias, and who, 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 brands ward off from those kind of things and go more to direct marketing. So they'll show a, a nice billboard of a nice girl smiling, oh, yeah, and then the pad is there, right? Mm -hmm. That is the kind of thing because the the, the context of showing it. Was getting I, uh, various yeah, kind of Doc, backlash and conversations. As Doc mentioned, you know, as you mentioned soccer and all those things. Um, look, we want to also tell your attention. All the people who have been playing e soccer, you know, e soccer games, very important. Um, champions in the making. I'm telling you what. So you need to join us on this journey, okay? Electrifying world of virtual soccer. Now you need to prepare also for the ultimate clash of virtual soccer titans. This is the second edition of the e soccer, the game on e soccer tournament. Um, it's this I don't need paddle. You need a, a pad, pad, need controller, controller, pad. It's the same thing. You <laughs> just, you <laughs> just need a different pad to play. You get it, a different bars, pad. Bars. Oh, bars, yeah. Um, I so now prepare for the ultimate clash. Yeah, Charlie, bro. Yeah, so it's it's gonna happen. Now, so whether you're a seasoned veteran or rising star, when it comes to e soccer, uh, we are inviting you to participate. Just go on to eventschamp.com. Eventschamp dot com all right events champ if you can't spell events e v e n t s <laughs> champ c h a m p dot com C -H and then sign up or go to our social media platforms you find it on there we'll share a link facebook and yeah. x and uh, you can click on the link to register for the game on e soccer tournament hurry up and do that this is uh is powered by three music tv ultimate battle and arena two three three it's going to be massive i like the fact that we built up on the first one and we're, we're engaging and the audience already are intrigued. Last time on Game On, we had a thrilling conversation about it and anticipation is heated. So even me, I'm going to join at the uh, round of 16 level. I mean, i but moral support. <laughs> so you are, they are seeding you. Yeah, yeah, means you are seeded, mm -hmm. so you don't play prelims. No, 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 no. Yeah, yeah boss. So, so that's something I'm host that you know. I'm not disqualified. We be around. We do TV. We do TV. No, we do TV. In talking about in talking about vaginal health, right? There are certain foods that we hear, you know, aid very good, good vaginal yeah. health. Yeah, let's touch on that. Just, we have just about some yes, minutes right? to make sure that you know, aside being hygienic <laughs> you know all of that pineapple also has a role to play when it comes to aside you know the vaginal health it's also sexual to an extent you know mm -hmm. it has a role to play when it comes to engaging in naked war warfare you know mm. so yeah <laughs> um mm. can we you know just run through yeah naked so, warfare? so my the first one on my list right mm -hmm. the first one on my list i feel everybody is yogurt probiotic probiotic yogurt, yogurt. amazing that's amazing for the vagina it wow. stabilizes the pH. Yeah, it stabilizes the pH. Oh, there's a place, place down the road. I don't want to mention the name oh, for yes. brand. Oh, yes. So 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 that's why the ladies have been going to buy But it's not the um, other one. You oh, know, they have the sweetened oh, one. You have sweetened one. These are the things that are going on. The sweetened one is not the one. It's not. Put that one aside. Oh, so is that the reason why you girls have been going to that place to buy yogurt? 
Who has been going? I'm just there? asking. I'm just asking. Who has been going there? There's a place down the road that no, there's probiotic. It's different. Is that one? Is that one? Is that one? They have the sweetened one. Yes, the natural state. The lady who has the question has got more answers than the person who answered the question. That's the one. No, because I know. I just want like you know for the other people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Those who don't know. It's good you are doing this. Actually, I I think 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 I I'll start. So, Put so into cranberries is what so good. you preach. So, you got to cranberry. Cranberries, avocado, uh, citrus pineapples. fruits like pineapple. They are milder. So, that also is very good. Doc, I hear the, the pineapple. Um, yes, it's true. <laughs> uh, <thank> you. <laughs> you know, we let him. He's coming to ask about sweetness. And yeah, because I'm told that if you take too much of that, to, it may be problematic. It's right because it's acidic. Yeah. yeah. Mm. So, balance. with everything in balance. Because mm. we are trying I to maintain mean, a pH. So when they say it's sweet, uh, for whatever place, reason, is it the mouth tasting or no, no, no. smell? No, smell. smell. Uh, so it's not it gives this. It gives this. Uh, for whatever reason, they say <laughs> not take pineapple. <laughs> it's for both men and women. Uh, by the yes. way, the, it's well, not this thing you are listening. Okay, this thing you are listening. Mm-hmm. It helps both men and women. Yeah. When yeah. it comes yeah. to smell, the semen, everything helps the same. Yeah. Anatomy is the same. Oh, right. but smell of the semen. I don't know why we should bother about smell of the semen because why? it's not supposed to go to unless you want to use it for a different. Purpose. Makes it easily digestible. No, no, no. I'm just I saying think that it's water. Okay. Water is very important. Yeah. Water. Mm-hmm. That's drink. That's why I'm drinking water. Yeah, water drink is very important. Hydration is very. Right now the weather is really hot. And a lot of people are sitting mm-hmm. in, in warm places in mm-hmm. public transport. Yeah. And there are some are wearing three underwears as we are speaking right now. You know I'm talking to you. Yeah. You are wearing three <laughs> underwears. <laughs> oh, oh, why? Why? Let me in ask, this why? Let me ask, let me, oh, okay. Thank you very much, Doc. I mean, shout out. In the, in the three underwears time is you're up, talking guys. about. Finish up. All these shapers. Waste Pull up things. You wear drawers. You wear this other one. The children from Abia and Koho. When... Do you walk around town for 15 hours? Is it and is it problematic? Yeah, it is. Please look, look at the main camera and tell them. <laughs> <laughs> Please, if you're out there and you're a lady and even you're a guy, mm-hmm. with guys pertaining to fertility, sperm, your sperm quality and sperm quantity. And pay heat. Please wear breathable underwear. Underwear that allows air to pass through. For the ladies, same goes with you. If you're wearing underwear that irritates your vagina, change it. Cotton is preferable. I don't understand why you should wear. So if you know you're going to wear something, a clothing that is thick, like jeans, it's, jeans is breathable mm-hmm. to a point. Mm-hmm. There's no need for you to wear an underwear that is also thick. You can wear something lighter mm-hmm. to aid in that regard. Because Three underwears, four underwears. I, I don't know what you are trying much. to achieve. The name of flat tummy. And the worst part is, you come home <coughs> and we are telling you, take your time, shower properly, wash down it properly. After washing, put your hand there and smell yourself. Are you okay with that? Am I okay? Are then we are going to bed. Wear something lighter. The weather is hot. Oh, don't oh, wear nothing. Oh, yes. If you live alone, Charlie, we for close. <laughs> when it's going to go, am I lying? No, am I lying? No, no. Chris, am I lying? Uh, uh, I like uh, that. Uh, wear your, your, your baby suit. Yeah, <laughs> uh, uh, birthday suit. Birthday suit. Yeah. yeah. Doc, I think, I think, well, well, I'll be thinking where about you landed. Thing fully said that, yeah. and <laughs> the amount of makeup at this point. As compared to. As compared to. Leave makeup artists out of this. Leave makeup artists out of this. Because now, we are not attacking. We are not attacking makeup artists. We are not attacking makeup artists. Artists. We no, are just no, no. stating the I'm clear fighting for you guys, empirical evidence that makeup artists of a lack of seriousness. No, but it's true because yes. they were the main go on, issue. You go on YouTube and watch and sit down hour and learn how to contour and, and how to make her big nose look small. <laughs> So and at the end of the before you end this, you should just say that there's so much good material on the YouTube too that you're watching on the yeah. TikTok. You yeah. can search vaginal health. Yes. And make sure it's an MD. <coughs> or maybe it's a gynecologist. It's coming from a Planned Parenthood has yes. a very good website. You can also go there and read about it. Yes. Mm-hmm. Doc, read about it. You know, your nose is you like mine is fine. They can tell you. <laughs> There's nothing wrong, sister. They can, they can tell you what, what videos or what content to watch about the foods and the drinks and the uh, foods you need to eat to enlarge your. Your penis your mom and will, or, stay stay longer or, or bed, tighten your vagina and, and all that. Yeah, but Please. they don't do hey, that for their hey, 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 Doc hey, said, hey, women know more about men hey, than hey, about hey. 
vaginal <laughs> health. Woman. Don't end at vagina. Don't type that vagina and end there. Wait, Add wait, wait. vaginal health. To birthday it. shout out. Wait, wait. Yes. No, it's birthday, not birthday, birthday shout out. out. One question. Oh, yeah, but the shout's going out. Birthday shout's going out to DJ Juicy. It's your birthday today again. We just hyped that One more question. Celebrate your thing. It's a juicy day. One more question. For those who don't have access to, you know, the probiotic yogurts, pineapples, cranberry, and all of that. And and then, okay, even water, or even maybe portable water, right? Quintia, pepper, you know, there are stories. Natural that, spices. Yes. Garlic. Those also garlic, help they also help. In, <coughs> okay. Natural spices. Just garlic. Just for the... Like your husband go just, enjoy the... Just for those not who don't know. Garlic, no, yeah. not a lot of garlic. Uh, because uh, by your diet, garlic in your diet. Oh. Oh. Lenny has a there. lot of garlic. Uh-huh. You smell of that. Uh-huh. And a lot of like... Smelly uh, and see, okay. smelly so let's end this. So Whatever you eat, yes. you smell of it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Whatever it will come eat. out somewhere else. <laughs> yeah. like Whatever that. you eat, Whatever you eat, it will smell, smell somewhere. You smell I it. I told them to stop eating too much. Le- Lenny, Lenny, uh, thank you very much. On uh, you <laughs> as the doc said. Yeah, welcome. Lenny, they do it. I'm gonna say. Mundi and fresh now. Lenny, they're hungry. in the room. Mundi and fresh now. Auntie, sister. Another fresh. I want to turn the camera around. Nice snack. I tell me, sir. Better than the I watch you eat. <laughs> yeah, I watch you eat. Tell yourself, it's here. Don't forget about that. We're back same time tomorrow. Uh, Doc, thank you so very much. Like I say, you are what you eat. <laughs>